Okay, this really couldn't be easier. If you can open an email and type your name, you can do this, no problem. You'll get an email from me that says Julia Odom has sent you whatever it is that needs to be signed. And there's a little bit in italics right here that I can type into. So if I have any instructions for you, I'll just slip them in there. Otherwise, you'll just click on this little highlighted bit and you will go straight to Echo Sign. There's nowhere for you to sign in, nothing for you to worry about really. Um, if you do want a password, if, you're, if you feel a little funny about your email security, I can put a password on there, but it's not really necessary unless it's a concern for you. If this is something that you haven't seen before, then you'll definitely want to read it first. You can do that by either looking at it as a PDF, which will bring it, bring it up on the screen so you can scroll through and take a look, or you can click print to actually physically print it and, and read it over. Once you're ready to sign it, then you will go over here to the start button, click that, and it's going to automatically take you to the first section that needs to be signed. You're going to click to sign and you're just going to type your name in exactly as it appears on the contract. In this case it's Doug Buyer. Click Apply and then click Next. If there's another section for you to sign then it'll take you to the next section. One good thing about this is you're not ever going to miss any little spots that need to be signed. Since you've already typed your name in once you don't have to do it again as soon as you click it it signs it. Then you'll click to e-sign. If there's another person that needs to sign this particular document, it will, once you're finished with it, then it will automatically go to the next person. Once that person finishes, it'll automatically go to the next person. You don't need to worry about any kind of forwarding or anything like that. It takes care of all of it for you. It's almost too easy. So once it finishes generating this signed document, then you are done. It's as easy as that.